Hello, welcome to this third and last video on Marcus Aurelius. Today we'll take a closer look at his daily routines. I've really been looking forward to do this video because it's through his daily routines that I rediscovered the man. Of course I had to study him at university but I, I kind of forgot about him until a few years ago when I was scrolling on the internet looking for some inspiration on on how to start my day. And there he was, the Roman Emperor. Besides being an emperor, he was also a husband and a father of two children. I don't want to compare myself to Marcus Aurelius, but let's say that of my full-time regular job and independent activity on the side and a family with three teenagers, I feel the man. So his and my main concern is how do we manage to get the most out of a day while staying focused, mindful, peaceful. Daily routines or habits really help. As Aristotle has already said, we are what we repeatedly do. So we'd better build in some constructive routines into our lives. Marcus Aurelius won several wars. How do you win the war? Day by day. You start by winning the day. And how do you win the day? You start by winning the morning. If you win the morning, you set the tone for the rest of the day. So let's first focus on morning routines. So it all starts with getting up. And here's what he says on getting up. If you want to stay in your warm bed, tell yourself, I have to go to work as a human being. What do I have to complain of if I'm going to do what I was born for? The things I was brought into the world to do. Or is this what I was created for? To handle under the blankets and stay warm. You can find this in the fifth book. At the beginning. I combine this wisdom with Mel Robbins' five second rule. What's the five second rule? It's quite simple. When you have an instinct to act on something, let's say to get out of your bed, you should physically move within five seconds. There's a window of only five seconds between the moment you have this instinct to change, to do something, and your mind killing it. So in the morning, when you hesitate, you don't get up immediately, your mind will start telling you that you'd better stay a little bit longer, etc. And you will miss out on this opportunity. You will push the snooze button once more. So instead, count backwards, five, four, Three, two, one, go. Don't discuss with your mind. If you want to know more about the five second rule, I will post the link here below so you can check it out. For Marcus Aurelius, it was important to start your day with being grateful. Grateful for the new day, the new chances you get to make the best out of it. His first book, in meditation starts with listing out all kind of, of people for whom he was grateful. And the first one was his grandfather, who basically raised him. In the early mornings, he also did some journaling. He wrote down what was important for him and he set some goals for the day. My personal morning routine also includes making my bed. I don't know if it was also part of his routine, but I do know that he didn't always sleep in a bed. He sometimes slept on the floor and he deliberately put himself in this situation of discomfort. He trained himself to overcome the need for comfort because this would make life easier. Marcus Aurelius also had an, an evening routine. In the evening, he wanted to eliminate the external stimuli and he tried to disconnect 
from all the impressions he had during the day, the things he saw, the things he heard. So he created some moments of stillness. He knew that inside our mind there is a place where it's always quiet. And we can always travel to this place of inner peace to free our, ourselves from external stress. And his and, and also my way to connect to this place of inner peace and quiet is through meditation. I think we need this now more than ever because external stimuli around us are huge, not only physical but also digital. Another way to cleanse himself from stress and what he called the dust of earthly life was through bathing. Just like me, he loved water. He loved taking a cold shower in the morning to feel energized or a long hot bath in the evening to relax. In the evening, he also took the time to review his day. Just like in the morning, he did some journaling. And the aim was not to be hard on himself, but to use this review as a guide to make better choices in the future. He always tried to become a better version of himself. And last but not least, evenings were time to spend with his family. When he kissed his children, Good night. He felt grateful and he realized that this wasn't something to take for granted. So he reflected on the thought that next morning he or one of his loved ones could be dead. So this motivated him to be really present in this moment. I've always been a fan of routines, morning and evening routines. I consider them as moments of self-care and reflection. And since the, the first period of lockdown, this need became even bigger. I think it's good to have some routines, to have some predictability, some certainty to deal with all the uncertainties around us. So tell me about your routines. Do you have a morning routine that helps you want to crush the day? Do you have an evening routine to feel quiet before a good long night of sleep? So thank you for watching this. I haven't decided on next week's theme yet. So tune in next week or subscribe to my channel and you will get noticed. Ciao and oh yes, keep safe.